Good evening, I'm David Lippman. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 19 News at 5. In just under one hour, an East Texas man is scheduled to be executed for murdering his mother nearly 20 years ago. Our Marangeli Lopez has been following this case closely and even spoke with Tracy Beatty as he fought to overturn his death sentence. And she joins us right now from outside the prison in Huntsville. So Mara, what's the latest? Well, David, after many attempts to appeal his sentence, Tracy Beatty was unsuccessful and his execution is still scheduled to happen here as scheduled in Huntsville. He'll be facing that lethal injection right at around six o'clock. Uh, you know, it's an emotional day and it's a little different here today, uh, considering on a typical execution, you would have the victim's families as well as the killer's families. But in this case, Beatty did murder his own mother, so the only family here here is his own. Now, Beatty was scheduled or sentenced to death in 2004 for killing his own mother, Carolyn Click, at their home in White House. Several reports show they had a tough relationship from the start. Beatty has an extensive criminal record dating back to the 80s. He's also served time for injuring his own niece, for stealing property, and numerous drug charges. I spoke to him several weeks ago and asked how he felt knowing he was facing death. I worried about it. No, it's no big deal. I mean, I've got an advantage over most people in the world. I mean, you don't know when you're going to die. I, I know when I'm going to die. You know, and I've known that I was going to die since I've been here. I'll be in that viewing room as one of the witnesses, and I'll be back later this evening to report on what happens here tonight. But for now, I'm going to send things back to you in the studio. I'm live in Huntsville, Marangeli Lopez, CBS 19. Thank you so much.